He was undefeated in 18 fights when he took on Marvin Johnson in February of 86 for the vacant WBA light heavyweight title. It was a grueling fight from the start, with plenty of slugging and close quarters action. In the sixth round, Stewart came out of one such exchange with a nasty cut. Leslie knew the cut was bad enough to stop the fight, and he fought his heart out in the seventh round. Johnson is the old man of the division and is beginning to tire. And if Leslie could just put together one good rally to get his opponent hurt and in trouble, he might be able to pull this fight out. But it was not to be. The fight was stopped in the seventh round. After reeling off five straight victories, Leslie got another title shot against Johnson, and this time in Trinidad, and he made the most of it. From the opening bell, he battered Johnson, including dropping him twice in the first round before a wildly cheering crowd, and retired in his corner. Trinidad had their second world champion and set the dangerous Cuban, Bernardo Comas, to win the 1983 North American Championships, and later that year went on to capture a bronze medal in the World Cup competition. But coming into the Olympics in 84, Hill was still considered a dark horse for a medal. But a strong showing carried him into the finals against Yun Sup Shin of South Korea. Virgil showed his best, but came out on the short end of a 3-2 decision and had to settle for the silver. As a pro, Virgil has grown through 18 opponents unscathed, scoring 12 knockouts along the way. And now is ready today for his title bout and his toughest test. World Championship. This has a beautiful left jack hook. This is because he's a converted southpaw. Butch is one of the great coming in. Round one. Catching the punches on his draw. High point of the first. Big city for Hill. Hill. Hill on the right. Two from Panama. Everything so far from Virgil with the Typical Virgil Hill call. Defensive posture. And he's at one from Los Angeles. He's just kind of low. Burke's team knockout. That right hit the champion. Inside left hook. You can see that it got lenders of champions. But with the Dukes. So at the end of this round, we'll be taking Leslie Stewart is going to like Bernard Taylor. Of course, um, shy by uh, about a couple of pounds made it okay at 170. The title against Marvin Johnson, Chris. After this word, scorecard won by Bray. This is a pleasant afternoon. A big hill in 87. He's putting much together. But he can't. Light heavyweights are. Look out. You're exactly right. To get him on his feet. Stop down there. He's a little short. Whoops. A Mexico judge and two from Panama. Referee. He has to be in. He'll get arrested in four seconds. I'm in Trinidad, Tobago. It will be a factor in this fight. Good right hand counter punch. We talked about that punch from Leslie Stewart. He scored it twice there in Virgil Hill. And now a little fancy combination. And he shot. But Stewart with it. Eddie Eliana was working on Stewart's cut. Sam Dunn was trying to light a fire under the champion. He said, Leslie, you look like you got nothing. Oh, they've been standing there. Oh, to his right hand. He said he didn't have. He took people looking at each other and just waiting for the other man to initiate the action. And like Hill, a little earlier, because he dropped his hands immediately. Get up. Sam says, a counter puncher. He wants Leslie to initiate the action. And he's doing it. Left and over that left jab, Virgil Hill got home. His fight. No.